everyone and welcome to this Mitchell Citizen by Rajna. My today's guest in Domestic Violence Awareness Series is senior journalist and documentary filmmaker Mr. Rohit Gandhi. He has worked with CBC and CNN International. He is founder of Your News and DNA India. Currently, he is editor-in-chief of Democracy News Live. His work is recognized all over the world. He is an Emmy Award winner for his documentary The Afghan Warrior and an Emmy nominee for Who Cares About the Girls, Slave Girls of India. Let's hear him speak on the role of journalism in spreading awareness about domestic violence. Welcome Rohit and it's such a pleasure and such an honor. And before I proceed further Rohit, I would like to inform you that Party for India have recently launched its domestic violence wing and uh, our helplines are open and we are very determined to help as many women as we can. You know, recently a survey was conducted by National Bureau of Crime Records and uh, their findings were that the topmost crime against women is domestic violence. And as you can understand, you know, domestic violence is one such crime which is committed against the women. So, you know, this is stigma and discrimination, really, that actually gives rise to a very pluralistic ignorance in society. And uh, when, you know, a victim, especially when she go to uh, the police or any other administrative authorities, you know, she's actually told that, oh, it's just a domestic violence incident. For God's sake, it's not just a domestic violence incident. It's a topmost crime which is being committed against women. And you are an ace journalist. And as I speak with you, you know, I'm suddenly reminded of this lovely statement by Philip Graham of Washington Post. And where he said that, you know, journalism is a rough draft first drug draft of history. But uh, as you know, that we see a lot of yellow journalism these days. But what I would like to know of you is, how can journalism, uh, which is really a very, very powerful medium at this point of time in the world when we are globally connected, create authentic awareness about domestic violence, considering that it is the biggest crime committed against women whether she's cutting across all the street of society, whether it's the Tony society or whether it's the people who are living a normal life. And uh, especially, you know, um, the role which journalism can play in removing stigma and discrimination and, uh, you know, just helping in that way. Please, sir. Well, thank you, Rashna. Thank you for having me uh, to talk about domestic violence. That's the broad stroke. Uh, concept, but in front of that, you're obviously talking about how journalism can play a role, Absolutely. and 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 what journalism can do to you know kind of bring around awareness. So that it's a very you know it's a very multi layered question. I'll all answer it like that for you. So let's say first of all, you know, it's a societal issue. If we always look at uh, women on the receiving end of this domestic violence, and it shows of deep you know, a deeply divided society at many levels where it's men committing violence against women. And it showcases the status of women within the society and the way uh, they're treated in society, the, the way they're raised even in their own homes where they come from, where they always land up becoming the victims and uh, never really the offenders mostly. So I think we got to go down to really beginning to understand that part. Uh, now you come down to when the violence is committed against these women, then comes the policing. The policing in itself is missing the concept that women are on the receiving end and it's their duty to protect these women, which means education on that end. Then finally comes down to women taking charge of their, their lives when a domestic violence incident happens for the first time to put their foot down and say, this is the end. Otherwise, I'm on my own, not being in that spot where they continue to, you know, go through the violence thinking it will get better. It's going to get OK. Or, you know what, where do I go now? Because they feel no backing of their homes, mostly from where they come or of their own relatives and friends that they'll end up continuing to, you know, go through that abuse on a daily basis. And I think those are all issues around education. Now, let's get down to the journalism side of it. I think proper awareness, again, is, is where it sits. 
to do for journalists to begin understanding there is a deep divide there is a deep disconnect in society today uh, a large part of marriages fail and are not functioning the way they need to function and there is an issue around there and being able to understand that and then if there is a violent person in society and he continues to you know ba- uh, you know batter uh, the women and you know violence doesn't have to always be physical it could be emotional violence as well um and but the ability for a journalist to then report on it uh, it requires training and i think when the society in itself is not ready to train their own girls from their own homes from where they are born and raised to the police institutions to sometimes even the judiciary that means there is a whole disconnect in society it needs a complete awareness module it needs training of the journalists as well for it, them to be able to report this very very far reaching impact journalists can have on any of these issues uh but this far reaching impact uh, is is only possible once they're completely aware of what and how they need to report and what are the rights of women when it comes to this but first i say i think our focus must be on education of women from the homes they're born in where they must be able to you know recognize violence if they have seen violence in their own homes they will then begin understanding that oh, oh the little bit of violence is fine you know uh, my father would get angry with my mom maybe uh, my husband is now getting angry with my mom, with me and that's okay because i've seen this this can happen but i think that mindset has to change mm-hmm. so so what do i understand that is uh, you know good channels like the way you have are they willing to uh, you know go and create more awareness uh, about domestic violence just the awareness part of it just to remove the stigma and the discrimination mm-hmm. and he didn't no pari yeah pari yeah. and pari has done some phenomenal work pari you know uh, yeah. under the auspices of yogita has done some phenomenal work i've worked with pari closely i've seen some of their work as well uh, especially when rape victims now you're going on to domestic violence i think it could be a great spot to begin some modules on education of journalists itself that could possibly be the first call of training journalists and saying okay you know what we need to partner we need to get a few journalists on board it take them through ideas and concepts and begin building a whole array of you know journalists who specifically begin reporting on domestic violence issues and i think that's where it needs to start the, the channels in itself you know it's it's at the end of the day you have to remember we have people right it's all based around human beings right. but if the human beings lack the education that's where the issue is and i think that's the training that you pari needs to think about to be able to get to that point absolutely the the leaders of these channels need to be obviously well educated but you know the reality is it's a very very marred landscape today the journalistic community a lot of the journalists have left to doing public relation jobs because the the honest journalists who want to stand up and speak the truth uh networks don't want to hire them if they hire them then they say how to get rid of them because um that's it's not the landscape we have we have a very very fragmented journalistic community today because of the corruption that has seeped in and i think that's our larger calling but please remember journalists don't exist outside society it's part of your whole society if your police is corrupt your judiciary is corrupt your executive is corrupt how do you think journalists are going to stay honest rohit it is extremely overwhelming and i get your point that education is extremely important and uh, i also wish that you know the audio visual media uh, is able to spread awareness via small documentaries or via small animation and create an awareness about what domestic violence act is all about it can probably you know figure out how to go about it so what would your parting words for the victims some words of encouragement and inspiration especially you know when they're running from pillar to post uh then first of all i think you're absolutely right about the audio visual medium uh everybody has a responsibility if you're in the journalistic community and you see such an ill in society that we must go out and cater to uh the, to content where awareness is spread amongst journalists to start with and then amongst the victims itself now the parting words for the victims do not tolerate violence in your marital non marital partnership any setup whatsoever right. it happens one time it's going to happen again it's going to happen again 
put your foot down the day it happens. It's not going to be, if it has happened once, it's going to happen again and again. So I think uh, the more people become aware and become stronger, that's when people who, men specifically, who you know physically abuse the women or mentally abuse the women, they will stop. You continue taking it, it's going to continue happening. And sooner or later, you know, the realization has to be there. Women have to realize that men need women as much as women need men. It's not as a one way or the other. They may pretend that they, they don't need you as much as you need them, but in true words, they do. So recognizing your strength is going to be part of the journey. And I think well, the sooner people realize it and the sooner people put their foot down, uh, we will have a road to recovery in society. But until then, there's a breakdown and that breakdown needs to be addressed. Thank you, Rohit, so much for uh, this. And I'm sure even the first red flag should not be ignored. That's the gist of what you have been saying. Thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Looking forward to working with you on this someday soon.